into the building. Right beside that, you'll see the press area. This is where the news media, TV media, all over the world gather. They're just a little over three and a half miles away. Over here on the right, you look up on the vehicle assembly building, you'll notice some of the tile that was missing. We lost 850 of them during the hurricanes of 04. We had winds gusting up to 124 miles an hour. Also notice the American flag. Each one of those stripes, eight and a half feet wide. The size from point to point, six feet. In the Blue Union area, the equivalent to an NBA basketball court. The width of the flag, 110 feet. The length of it, 209 feet. Montgomery Wards donated the paint back in 1976 to paint the, the flag and they painted the shuttle coming in for a landing on the water tower. In this building here we house all the office space that used to be inside the vehicle assembly building. They have a post exchange store, a credit union, a barber shop, beauty shop, a health club, medical facility. They have a post office in there. Kennedy Space Center employs between 14,000 and 15,000 people out here. Now as we go around the corner, you'll notice the OPFs. Up in. These are the operative processing facilities and number one is where the Atlantis goes. Out here in number two is the Endeavor. Discovery goes in number three over there. Discovery was the one that returned to flight a couple of years ago. Arlene Collins from Mount Mother, New York, was the commander, the only female commander that we had at the time. She'd been in flight four times and twice as a commander. She's going to tell you what was on inside there. When I walk into the OPF here, you know, the first thing that I see is the people. And that's the first thing that I focus on. And it's a great opportunity for astronauts to come down here and meet the people that actually work on the world and get us ready to fly and get them in space. And there's one thing that they all have in common, and that's their love of the space program. And their dedication to... I'll be here on the right, it's the second of the two crawler transporters. Of exploring the space. Coming up on the right is a water hole. Down in there you might see an alligator, manatees, or a mermaid, and you might not see anything. And then preparing it to roll over the vehicle assembly building. You got a policy. That's the main thing. Safety is important. A gator, two gators out there. Friends, 
dignitaries come to view the launch directly in front of us. Pad A, 3.6 miles away. To the left, Pad B, 3.5 miles away. Out here when they have a launch, first you see it, then you hear it, and then you can actually feel it. This gets rid of the silver doors, so that'll take you into the pre-show, from there into the firing room, then out into the main lobby, where on display they have the Apollo Sat-5 rocket, have a little landed module, they have a space capsule, Jim Lovell space suit, the moon mobile, plus a vehicle that used to take the astronauts out to the launch pad during the Apollo era. They have an excellent lunar landing show, plus a gift shop, snack bar, and if you are convenience. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, they do have buses that leave here approximately every 10 minutes. Go to